Alright, greetings and salutations everyone. My name is Caden or Nighthawk and today we're going to be looking at how to replace a solenoid relay on the Pred on my Predator 212 electric start kit. Kind of a video that we weren't expecting, but so let me give you some context really quick. So this is the old relay that came with the electric start kit that was attached to our solenoid here. Um, when I was doing my wire, my all my wiring here, I was unplugging the wire so I can work on the engine. Unfortunately, this the little wire dangling out snapped off. I, as you can see, I tried to solder it back on. Is it going to work? So I stopped messing with it. And I went ahead and bought this new relay here. Now you can see it has a different wire connection. I, I still got it on purpose. There are some other ones out there. Uh, that has the same bullet splice connector there but i went ahead and just got this one here and this one also apparently has a ground terminal that we need to include in our uh, wiring now it's pretty easy to hook up i've seen uh, seen some videos online on how to hook this up of similar seven horse engines and it should be able to work out just fine if you want to know what kind of relay this is go on ebay and search hata gx 200 solenoid relays and this one should pop up i'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description to this exact solenoid and well yeah let's go ahead and get started so i've already gone ahead and i've already removed this the old solenoid relay as you can see here all you have to do is essentially remove this wire coming that's going into the solenoid itself off of this terminal right here is it that terminal yes this terminal right here using a 10 millimeter uh, socket and then these two bolts back here are removed with just an eight millimeter socket slide those out pop goes the relay and then we can easily put the new one in Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and get ready to re replace the solenoid here. But one thing I should know is I know ahead of time that this solenoid still works. But if, you're, if your uh, electric start engine doesn't seem to be starting up anymore, it's probably, um, it's probably because you might have a dead solenoid anyway. And this, again, this video might be helpful for you. But the way to check to see if you have a dead solenoid relay and you think that this still works and can crank the engine over. Um, so it bolts up like this under there and you normally have a, a positive uh from the battery coming into this post right here and the solenoid is hooked up to this post right here what you could do is you could try to jump start the solenoid by plugging in the positive of the battery here with your grounds connected and everything and if the engine turns over then you're good to go i already know this solenoid still works in perfect it's just the like i said the wire ripped out of this solenoid here so i don't have to this is this is why I'm replacing it, but again, this is how you, you can diagnose your relay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and move this main connector connection out of the way. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of this hole that we use on the, on the solenoid motor here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that bolt. And I'm going to stick this one through both the mounting hole and the ring terminal. Because this ring terminal, as I've no witnessed, ha also acts like a ground. Or it acts as a ground. Pretty interesting. Um, I was trying to find a solenoid that just had one wire coming out of it. But then I just didn't want to risk having the janky wire set up where it could potentially rip out of, of harm's way. So basically you want to find a way to secure this ring terminal onto the solenoid motor itself. There we go, get that threaded in there. And then get the other bolt threaded in there, like so. I don't have an extension uh, handy on my socket wrench, so I'm gonna carefully use my impact gun on this. Probably not recommended. Again, this is an eight millimeter socket. You don't wanna over tighten and strip any threads. You just want it nice and snug. I'm going to bring the engine closer just so I can put this one on or secure this one. Go ahead and get this last bolt here. Perfect. Our solenoid is secured. Now, basically when you're replacing the bolt or when you're replacing the wiring that goes to the solenoid motor, it's pretty much uh, a rever reverse order of how you do the or like how you're taking things apart. All right, so I have our nut tightened down with our 10 millimeter socket and I went ahead and recovered this bolt up. You don't want to over tighten it. You just want to make it nice and snug. And now this post is of course going to go to the positive of your battery and also the uh, 
ring terminal that goes to your key switch box. We'll go ahead and cut to a further segment that uh, also coexists with the other video I'm going to be posting of uh, putting the trike back together.